Step by step level 6, lesson number 5, study of faces. Draw and color the given faces in the space provided. Here, two faces have been given. One is Zelda RG and other one is Usima. Let us follow the given steps to draw and color the same. Here it's like an oval shape. We can imagine ourselves inside here. So construction, draw a oval shape. And if you observe this, in the middle of the oval, the eyes have been placed. for the first face and let's go for the second one draw like one more oval shape this is for the placement of eyes middle line Drawing some lines for the hair here. Let's go for the final species with the black hair. Let us finish with the nose here. Let's try with this, the second face. Using same black and filling the eyes by leaving the small dot inside the eyeball. Let us start coloring using fabric casting 18 by color pencils, 36 shades. I would like to use sky blue for the third one. I'm doing strokes from the bottom. Here in each part, this part has reached, and then coming to next part, the same way, like the color inside in the middle, and do it in the same way in the opposite direction, giving strokes in both the ways from bottom to top and top to bottom, leaving some gap in the middle, and even here. Like here, I want a small strokes as the color shade is a bit dark here at the bottom, so give lengthy ones at the bottom. Color lightly in the lesser parts. Using ultramarine and blue to show more sure shading here on the turban. As light as possible here. We need to go very darkly. Using yellow color for the small part here. Using pale orange, which is a skin tone, for the face and the neck. Color darkly near these lines here. I mean under this one, under the turban. and then just around this beard here and color bit darkly around the eyes
the parts which are having depth must be colored darkly in the remaining parts the parts which embossed outside like cheeks and then forehead when compared to other parts it could be shaded lightly so cheek embossed so i'm coloring it lightly here and here bringing out the shape of the nose this part will be embossed out and both the sides it will be dark here holding bit lightly on the cheek bit whitish holding very lightly on the forehead this is brown color now to give more shades for the face this table around the eyes here little lightly not don't use too dark just a gentle shade to be all like around the skin tone it brings out a little more depth effect on those parts like the eyes and the folds as light as for the dark to dark otherwise it will become brown under this nose you can add that it is the same pale orange for the neck this is brown color under the neck here the part will be very dark in shade the light will reach this part So the skin tone of this part will be dark in shade. And compared to the face, it will be done with the dark. Use red or pink for the lips. You can like. So the upper lip will be covered with these braces, stacks, and the lower lip I color with red color. Using black now, color lightly everywhere on the beard. later on we give some dark shades and coloring in the eyebrows darkly as it is uh, small in size you can feel it just now here i give some of the hair lines for the beard here Using yellow color now for the shirt here. Coloring darkly everywhere, or you can leave it a little bit light here. And the other lines to be done darkly. Using red color now. Kind of strokes here, or you can use pink color too. Strokes in opposite direction, from top to bottom. Light shade on the yellow color. Using sky blue for the cap here. Strokes from both the sides. Stroke from this side, left to right, and right to left. in black color now coloring lightly first for the hair now give some bit dark strokes 
we tried the uh, skin color here for the sun energy but there is a one more shortcut way by using orange color for the face but to be done very lightly so same effect can be brought out a little bit dark around eyes as i said here leaving this part and doing coloring shading and shading around the eyes and the side of the nose and here put this line bit darkly and very light here on the cheek i already told you the parts which appears like embossed on the face those to be done lightly to bring out the embossed effect for the cheeks you have to shade it light under the chin coloring lightly on the forehead as light as possible with uh, this orange color otherwise it will be bit orange is in same brown color how i color for the first face in the same way then around the eyes just beside the nose and this eye here around this eye Hold here on the face, the wrinkle. Use red or light pink, very light pink for the lips here. Just a touch. There is no detailed coloring here. Just a light shade. A gold color for the shirt here. A sample of light green. using olive green or you can use sap green too Let us add some background effect using lavender color. Use it in under palm position. Instead of lavender color, you can choose any other color. Ice. Final effect. That's it from this lesson. Let's sign off.